Get ready to match the star. Donald Ross. Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Riley. How'd he do it? Richard Dawson. And Fanny Flagg. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 74. And now here's the star of Match Game 74, Gene Rivers. Thank you, friends. Are we ready to have a go at it? We are. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we have to play the game. Oh, no. We're going to have a lot of fun today playing this game, and we may give away a lot of money, and who knows what else. Are you all set? Okay. Oh. Yes, ma'am. I would like to know if Donald is going to wear those funny shirts and ties all week long. I see no humor in this. <laughs> Where'd you get the funny shirt and tie, Don? Patty said we were going to do... Um, the show with Monty Hall and I got confused where everybody comes as a pickle. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, I, I just came in the wrong building. Get out. Get out! <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. That's, uh, some people consider that a very attractive shirt and Some tie. people would. <laughs> I want to see those some people in the office. <laughs> well, it's gay and colorful there. Oh, let's, watch it. let's say hello to our two players, Janet Finn and Richard Fox here. How are you? Hi. How are you? Okay, Janet's a current chance. She's won $6,800, and uh, you always uh, squeeze your hands together. I see your knuckles are white all the time. Relax, Janet. Okay. Will you relax? That's a half a year's salary already. That's a half a year's salary? That's terrific. <laughs> She's being challenged by Richard, who had his first round question and didn't do too well, but he's a peachy kid and a snappy dresser, as you can play oh, see. Yeah. <laughs> They're great consolation. You've done it again, Richard. All right, Thank we'll uh, get to your first round question in a moment or so, but friends, we've got to do this first. We're all set now. Here we go. I'll push this button, and as you can see, with this mechanical device, it doesn't work the first time. You try it the second time? Oh, it works there. Okay. Now, this is yours, Janet, your first round question. Hey, you all remember the song, Singing in the Rain? Singing in the Rain? Too far. <laughs> Singing in the Rain. Well, there's a new song out called Blanking in the Rain. <laughs> You remember that old song, Singing in the Rain? There's a new song out called Blanking in the Rain. Janet will think about that while you're doing that. Richard is the first one finished, as he so often is. There. Well, thank you. You're a credit to your race. <laughs> okay, she's finished. No, she's good for another two years. <laughs> yeah. He's got an answer. What are you doing? Ah! Just put this. <laughs> no, I won't give her anything sharp. All right, everybody's finished. Janet Finn. Do you all remember that song, Singing in the Rain? Well, there's a new song out called Blanking in the Rain. I thought of streaking. Streaking in the rain. <laughs> Bye, Joe. She said, streaking in the rain. Do you get that picture? I didn't see the picture. Oh, you didn't see the picture? Was it, did it have Did you a happy read the book? Ending? No. You didn't read the book either? Does it have a happy ending? Yes, it does. Well, so does a streaker. <laughs> there I it said is. streaker. Well, right for you, Janet. Brett? You know, in the leper colony, you have to carry a little bell, and it goes. <laughs> tingle, 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 tingle. <laughs> Right. Tinkling in the rain. <laughs> yes. Charles? <laughs> she doesn't know. Charles. Oh, I suppose your answer is good taste. Streaking again, I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> so that's two for Janet Finn. Let's see what you've got here, Patty. I got three for Janet Finn. You got three for Janet Finn. Okay. I saw that movie also. That's right. right. Again. Now you, Sir Richard. What is a fin? A fin. It's a five dollar bill. I have four dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> now, ma'am. Brett was the only one that didn't match. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know who your friends are, Brett, don't you? <laughs> I don't have any friends on this panel. <laughs> Cry a little for it, Brett. Now, I'll push this button and ask uh, Richard to make a selection here. Okay, that's pretty tough. I'll take A again. A. Now, everyone plays since no one matched in the first round. Yule Gibbons' wife said... Does it sound anything like him? <laughs> no. I think Yule... <laughs> Yule has eaten too much natural food the first day of his spring, his blank turned green. She said, she said, she said, I think Yule has eaten too much natural food the first day of spring, his blank turned green. <laughs> well, you'll come in out of the woods. Squirrels are going to get you. What are you doing there? They can indeed. What can I do? Wait a minute. I hear mumblings and rumblings up here. Do you every, have an answer? Every answer I have, Brett either rewrites it or takes it away. Oh, what is you talk to it's in the garbage. She took it away from me. <laughs> write it again and then put it in there. Wrong. <laughs> Every answer I write, either Brett or Gene, takes it and throws it. Come on, it. now, write an answer down there. Now, don't write funny stuff. Just yeah. write an answer for heaven's sake. It's not a comedy sake. show. There's a serious game show where a lot of money is at stake. Yule Gibbons' wife I... said, I think Yule has eaten too much natural food. The first day of spring is blank turned green. I love it when it gets cross with us. <laughs> okay, put it in that slot there, and away we go. <laughs> now. I'll put him up. <laughs> Richard Fox, Yule Gibbons' wife, said, I think Yule has eaten too much natural food the first day of spring. His blank turned green. God, there's a lot of possibilities. I'll say hair. Hair. His hair turned green. Right. Hair is a possibility. Now, uh, Donald, what do you say? Well, I still like Richard's outfit. <laughs> I said nose. Nose. Okay. Uh, now, Richard, I point out to you, you got to match all the remaining celebrities to stay in the game. Brett? Well, my hair once turned green, but it was from over bleach. But I kept said that his mouth turned green. Mouth he turned was green. Well, that's there. So, Dan, Finn wins the game. Nose, hair. He's got one hair there. What do you have there? His whole body and his nose. Okay, another $100 for you. Stand by for a moment. Gee, I'm sorry to see you go. I would have I been am too. very happy to know what kind of jacket you were going to wear the next time you got together. <laughs> I did that one. It's good. Good luck to Richard Thank Fox. You. A gift for you backstage. Many thanks for being with us here. Whoops. Get out of here. All right. Now, you know what this means, this big thing that uh, needs a little oil that's turning around here. We'll get to that in a moment or so, but first we've got to get to this, dear friend. Whoops, uh, here, hello there. Janet Finn is here again. You remember Janet Finn? She's won four games already, and she's going to have another go. At the, what dance are you doing there, Janet? I want to, I'll get in step with you. And uh, oh, Janet, you know how this goes. We pulled a recent studio audience, and uh, we got their best response to this. Hope blank. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it, and 250 if you match the next one, and $100 if you match the next one. Three celebrities are allowed to help. You may choose three now. <laughs> yes? Uh, Richard, please. Richard, how do you fill in that blank? Hope or something I always think of when I look at <clears throat> Fanny, Hope Chest. Hope Chest. <laughs> I always think of Mickey Mouse uh, for some reason. All right, there's one for you. Uh, Charles? Charles. Hope Lang. Hope Lang. Brett? Brett. What about Hopeful? Hopeful, okay, so you have Hopeful, Hope Lang. Stinkful. And Hope Chest. <laughs> There are people out there who have loyalty and love and compassion in their hearts. Right. I can tell Thank by you. the way they're booing you. <laughs> Nevertheless. <laughs> way too hopeful. Well, anybody could have said hope chest. Anybody could have said it. Anybody did. <laughs>
Are you a little more hostile today than you normally are, my dear? I don't know, am I? I'm yes, just cranky driving here. That's right. All right, I'll have to talk to you later. Now, listen, you've got Hope Chest, Hopeful, and Hope Lang. You may choose one of those or give us one of your own. What do you want to do? Hope Chest. You want to say Hope Chest, all right? She's hoping that that's the big one under the $500 response. We're going to find out if it's up there and if so, where. First, may we see the $100 response? Hope, Faith, and Charity. Oh. Notice all the biblical students uh, <laughs> thought of that immediately. The three strippers at the Largo. Uh, <laughs> looking for Hope Chest, here is the $250 response. Hope Chest it is, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> all right, what do you think is under the $500? Hope Diamonds. Oh, Hope Diamonds. Hope Lang. Diamonds, good. Hope, Hope I Springs Lang. Eternally. Eternal. What do you say, audience? Hope Lang almost yes. has won. They said Hope Lang. Hope the Indian. No. Right. <laughs> Hope the Indian. Here is the $500 response. Lang. Yeah. A friend of all of ours, yeah, Hope Lang, lovely. a swell lady. All Great right, club. now you got $250, you play for 10 times that amount, or $2,500. To uh, collect, you've got to match one celebrity, remember, in it's time to choose one now, Janet. I'll try Richard, please. You'll try Richard. Okay. I must be in bed midnight. All right. <laughs> Face me if you would, please, Janet. <laughs> Janet, this is your fourth game. You're still shaking. Loosen up there. Fall I think apart. she's adorable. She's adorable. I'm trying to get her to relax here. Tell your husband you're adorable. <laughs> right, she's adorable. Charlie, and she's a she's terrific adorable. dancer. <laughs> she worked okay. with the Supremes for three years. That's right. <laughs> now, Charles, who's uh, Richard? You're doing this, aren't well, you? Well, whoever I am has yes. been fun. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you think you'd be able to learn the names by yes. now? <laughs> by now, I should know who he is. <laughs> He's here all the time. Bunny blank. That's B-U-N-N-Y blank. Buddy? No, bunny. Oh, bunny. Bunny blank. Now, Richard's finished, Janet. What answer would you like to give us that you think will match his? Bunny? Uh, bunny hop. Bunny hop. So that's what you've been doing here all the time. The bunny hop, eh? Okay, Richard, for $2,500. May we see your answer? Oh, dear. Yesterday we had Moonlight Bay, and you never chose me. Bunny Rabbit. Bunny Rabbit! Oh, that's good, isn't it? She, says, she said that's a good answer. Yeah, bunny, yeah. Bunny. Listen, Bunny Hop wasn't bad. Bunny Rabbit was a very good one, though. All right, now, you've got a total of $7,150. You're still the champ, and let's meet Nympha Jarvis. Hello there. <laughs> Janet, you know this lady? Is it Nympha? Nympha. Nympha, that's an interesting name. My mother did it to me. Really? Is it a combination of something? No, I was named after someone. I see. What else do you want to tell us about well, yourself? I'm a happy housewife with three beautiful children, a happy husband, and 40 potted plants. 40 potted plants? Inside the house. <laughs> Geraniums? No, Boston ferns, things like that. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll start this game in a little bit, but first we've got to start this up for you especially. Ready, I push button. You make choice. B. B. Ready? Mm -hmm. Freddie said... You should have seen me on the original amateur hour. The switchboard lit up when I blanked Ted Mack. <laughs> oh, sweet, I'm sorry. I was looking at your tie and I was <laughs> amazed. Freddie said, you should have seen me on the original amateur hour. The switchboard lit up when I blanked Ted Mack. Were you, uh, you remember Ted Mack? He had a program on television in the... Uh, and what was it? An amateur. amateur show? It was an amateur show, right. Speaking yeah. of that... And then uh, people would come, you know, and they'd do play their violin or do whatever they did, and... Uh, and My if brother he didn't like anything, he would give them the gong and their, it's the equivalent of the hook in vaudeville. I know you yeah, still any, don't understand. Any other sorts, because I didn't like no. that. No, all right. That's the best I can do. <laughs> what about the bears? There it is. <laughs> no. There you go. You yeah. know, she's... Brett's been taking singing lessons, and I had the pleasure of hearing her the other night. And I must say, she has the voice of Wallace Beery and the rhythm of Una Merkel. 
My first husband once said I had the face of Marlena Dietrich and the soul of Martha Ray. <laughs> That was a long time ago. Your first husband I... was also a lush, if I remember. <laughs> are you going to listen to this banner, or are you going to write an answer? I don't understand English too well. You talk so fast. But if you could write it, we'd be grateful. Okay, I got it. All you right, got no, one. Right. All right, write it down. Then. All right. Oh, okay. I love you. <laughs> I love you, too, but not now, Lee. Okay. Now, we'll come over here to Nympha Jarvis. Freddie said you should have seen me on the original amateur hour. The switchboard lit up when I blanked Ted Mack. When I kissed Ted Mack. When you kissed Ted Mack. <laughs> well, could you I suppose give this note to my wife for that's me, the way to get ahead. Thank you. Now, would you give us your answer, yeah. please? Uh, the, the switchboard lit up. When I blanked Ted Mack. And the show went off the air. Of course, he kissed. Kiss Ted Mack. There it is. There's one from inside, right? See if Dickie knows the answers to the, uh, the question. My brother chews hammers for a living. How much does he get? <laughs> That's the, no, is sure, he an he's... amateur? Is he a professional? <laughs> no, he's an amateur. See, the joke oh, well, is that my husband chews that. hammers for a living. <laughs> Uh, well, how much does he get? Nothing. He's a amateur. That's the joke she was going for. No, <laughs> it's impossible. with those jokes. <laughs> Can we get on with the game, please? I said smack. You're right. I am hard. Smack. <laughs> uh, smack in some lexicon is a kiss. Is that what you had in mind? No, she meant. No, I'll mean, never tell. You mean hit him with your fist. All right, Charles. I say smack him when he's down. Do all American women talk so very much? I put the matching name, of course. Yes, there it is. <laughs> and I didn't okay. know that I didn't work. The switchboard lit up when I blanked Ted Mack. What do you say? Oh, I wish I'd thought of kissed. You didn't say kissed? But I thought that, was a, that this was a better act. I said set fire to When you set fire to Ted Mack. Many losers have that in I mind, so. my dear. All right, Richard. Well, if you love set fire, you will know that the switchboard <laughs> lit up when he sat on. We sat on. Oh, yeah. Then yeah. they slid Ted under the door. That's right. <laughs> Poor devil. Fanny, you knew Ted oh. Mack. Yes, I knew him well. Mm -hmm. You know, that was an amateur show, and people right. used to come on, and they would play everything. So I said, when you played Ted Mack. When you played Ted Mack. Yes. Thank you. That is about as dumb as his. Okay. <laughs> now, let's see. That's two for you. And now what we have for you is this, Janet. You ready? My brother chews Charles Nelson Riley said... Uh -huh. don't, don't move your lips when I'm talking, because it looks funny. <laughs> People think my voice has changed. You. Or yours. <laughs> Charles Nelson Riley said, It's terrible being up here on this upper tier. Every time Brett matches a contestant, she puts a blank on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brett started writing right away. Would you like me to give that in once more? I don't Charles think it's Nelson help. Riley said it's terrible being up here on this upper tier. He says it's terrible being up here on this upper tier, is what he said. That helps. Every time Brett matches a contestant, she puts a blank on my leg. Oh, Donald, just take off your tie and write. His lips are moving too, and he's not saying anything. I can't take off the tie. It's attached to the shirt. Oh. Write an answer. Would you like to sit down here with your wife and let her give you a little coaching? He's an amateur. My brother chews amateur. Is he an amateur? No, he's a professional. Okay. Oh, is he a professional? Now we're all set. Donald's given us his answer. Janet, we need one from you. Charles Nelson Riley said, It's terrible being up here on this upper tier. Every time Brett matches a contestant, she puts a blank on my leg. A hand on my leg. Really? Okay. She says, Every time Brett matches a contestant, she puts a hand on my leg, is what she I said. I wouldn't touch him with a barge pole. <laughs> Donald, what did you say? Touch him. Why'd you give him a hickey? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Patty wants a divorce. <laughs> what a notch! A notch! Yeah. Charles. Hickey. <laughs> Hickey. Charles, I hate to tell you this. I know it doesn't come off. Yeah, it doesn't. You're going to have one. It's going to What be... makes you think I just put those on now? Oh, <laughs> I mean, 
They're real hickeys. They've been on for three weeks. Okay. What do you say, Patty? Well, from down here, it looked like a hand. Like a hand. All right. Every time Brett matches the contestant, she puts a hand on my leg. That's what she said. What do you say? Well, I happen to know that's true. <clears throat> Although, as far as Charles is concerned, it's an unnatural relationship. So I wrote hand. Hand. <laughs> All right. That's two. Let's see if we get another hand. No, oh, there is another hand. Right. Three to two, I beg your pardon. And around one, now this message for you, dear friends and gentle hearts. Just have a couple of seconds to thank all of these lovely people for their contribution to today's efforts and hope they'll uh, be here next time. Gene, and we I hope love you. Will you. Be. I love you too, dear. Uh, join us next time for Match Game 74. Gina. Join me, Bill Dwyer, as GSN counts down the 50 greatest game shows of all time. Tonight at 8, 7 central on GSN. Get in the game. write an answer. I don't understand English too well. You talk so fast. But if you could write it, we'd be grateful. Okay, I got it. All right, you got no, one. All right, write it down.